All right, so it's the day after the wedding and we're getting ready to do, um, I can honestly at this right now, I can't remember what it's called, but my family has come. Lord. Yeah, so um, basically so that my family can kind of see where I'm living and like, you know, be entertained. And at the end of it, it basically allows my family to come, anybody from my family to come over and eat at any time. So they're waiting on us. We just finished getting ready. Um, so Let's we're get getting ready to go oh, okay. out. That's okay. okay Check go wife out. out. Oh, I say nah, I'm a wife. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, we're gonna go out and greet everybody and eat and make, you know, make merry. So I'll show some clips from that. So we're about to head down now. <laughs> guys today is Wednesday I don't remember the last time that I checked in but we uh, went to a, one of my family friends wedding she had her traditional wedding marriage ceremony very similar to mine today so we are back and chilling and eating and watching a movie we're eating rice and stew and some salad so that's the end of the night, and I will check in later. So we just got back from the Edaro Festival. I'm sure you guys saw all those crazy videos. Yes. It was so wild. I didn't know what to expect when they told me people would just be flogging each other. I didn't really see in my head, but yeah, after watching everything, it was wild. I mean, we kind of stayed off to our own side. Um, we had police with us so that you know people wouldn't bother us. But um, yeah, it was fun to spectate and watch videos. So we're back home. And my fiance was done flogging too. You're what? My fiance, my, my wife, oh, okay. was done <laughs> uh, <laughs> So now we are about to eat have fufu and okra soup. Okay. All right. And this one is trying to, is trying to vlog. Yeah, I'm trying to vlog right now. <laughs> Good morning. Today is Thursday. No, it's not. What did I say? Um, today is Friday. Um, 
we went out last night. This is my first time going out in Alka, which is where we were last night, which is like one of the, I guess this is like the next big um, city uh, to our village where we are. We went to this really nice hotel, the Bon Bion, and then we went to this club. We saw Fino at the um, hotel, so that was pretty cool. So we got back like after three, and I've been sleeping since and waiting now for our breakfast to be reheated because it was given to us, but it's been sitting out since we've been sleeping and now it's cold. Um, but today is um, a festival day. It's like a Bagana cultural day and we're doing the Edaro festival, which is like, festival is like a way to like celebrate the end of the year. And um, there's a lot of like masquerade, and like these flogging competitions that go on. So um, yesterday we, there was a, yesterday was like part one, but um, it was more so like just for like the youth. And then today is like the official one. Like we're gonna be seated. It's gonna be like arena style. Um, so, so, um, what is it? What are you doing? You want it? So, um, yeah. yes, I flogged yesterday. Yeah, yeah, I flogged yesterday. Yes, tw- There's tw- nobody on tw- the phone. 12 kin. I need 12 sticks. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, hmm. you think you're funny. Anyway, so that's the day. Waiting for our food, and um, we'll show some, some footage from that. Good morning. Say good morning, babe. Good morning. They woke me yesterday, but I woke him today. You didn't do anything. He ran away, actually. <laughs> We're not drinking that. back from doing my hair and um it was a little problematic because well yes i got my hair washed but the lady's handheld blow dryer she said has spoiled so she yeah. had to use the regular cover-up blow like uh sit down sit hair dryer. Down, dryer so like my hair basically dried oh, in its God. natural form so oh. it's like she braided it down oh, to man. like you know do conserve that? it but it's like it's still it's not blown out oh, which is what man. i needed it to be in order to get my hair braided so oh man i mean i'm glad that it's washed but i still have to now figure out how to like get it more tame mm-hmm. to get my hair braided later yeah. so yeah, my yeah. my problems have not all been solved unfortunately um, solved yet so apparently this function is more like than I thought. I was wearing earlier some pants and a top and my mother-in-law was like, is that how you're going? And I was like, yeah, she's like, oh, you won't. And so my aunt, one of my aunts was like, you should put on a dress, you know, something nicer. I was like, oh, I thought it was just, you know, going to watch something. I didn't know I needed to dress up. So I went and put on a skirt with this top um, and I put my jewelry on I haven't done that yet but um, yeah, I'm waiting for Chris to get out of the shower and we're going to go and watch the masquerade
right, so we um, finished with the festival. It was really fun. Really just got to see a lot of masquerades and um, see a lot of different performances. As you guys saw, those were different, like, I don't know, I wanna get into like masquerades and like everything, but it's basically like a very like important part of Igbo culture where you have uh, men who um, donned various uh, like costume like attire to embody these like spiritual beings and they do performances and whatnot and they show up at festivals. So, so, but um, but it was good, we spent, we spent a few, few minutes there and then we left and went back home. But as you can see, it's a little bit of change of scenery. We're actually in a hotel. Um, right now, um, really just to get a break, um, from the village life, you know, like sometimes, you know, some of those amenities that we're used to in the States, um, are stripped away sometimes in the village, just with the way that Nigeria as a country is operates, you know, still a third world country, as much as we love and have so much pride, there are small things that, um, we take for granted in the U.S. that sometimes are lacking. So we decided to um, get a hotel and at least for a night and we may even extend or do another um, hotel just to like for a few days just to kind of, I don't know, reset and just be more comfortable. So that's where we're at now. And <laughs> we're about to go to sleep. So good night. and. Sleep. I will see you guys in the morning. <laughs> A couple of days since my last vlog the weekend was pretty uneventful celebrating new year's we are back um, home they changed the sheets for us i guess to like lovebird type sheets which is super which is cute um i spent the day today getting my hair braided you'll see more probably later but um it's just knotless box braids in black um it took like six and a half hours um in total total you know between like taking breaks and everything so afterwards i was just tired just relaxed and just now finished eating um had often salah i've had to take it easy because last night after eating some okra soup i had like crazy stomach pain i had i vomited and had like crazy diarrhea I don't know like what part of it did not agree with me, but since then I skipped breakfast and just taking it easy. Like I really maybe only ate 20% of my meal tonight just cause I don't know. I still feel like I'm not fully back to myself in terms of my stomach operations. So just taking it easy, but um, yeah, sorry that it's kind of dark. I'm getting ready to bath and um, get in bed tomorrow we are going to a wedding for one of my um for one of my family friends and Santo is just coming with me as my forever plus one <laughs> all right all right so, so guys we about to step out we're going for a friends or rather you your most friends wedding mm -hmm. Oh, my and friends are your friends now. As usual, I was putting on black initially because the tailor kind of messed up. Mm -hmm. Apparently, last minute he showed up, so we have this on. Sure huh? You have to make sure you're looking cute. What well, to make sure I'm looking there? No, like you're looking in the wrong spot. What spot am I looking at? You have to look here. Yeah. I have to vlog this. I have to look here, but the thing is here. Well, anyways, guys, I'm about to dip. I'm about to head out. Thank you on the beat. <laughs>
Good morning. Guess where I am? Back at my house or my old house now. Um, I just got dropped off by my um, husband and his couple of people just to drop me here. Um, my I'm leaving with my mom today from Asaba, which is about technically an hour, but it can be up to multiple hours depending on the traffic from here. And then that flight is good, is a domestic flight to Lagos. And then tomorrow evening, we'll fly from Lagos back to the US. So the journey begins today. Um, back here, because I need to rearrange some of my things. I left some things here when I went um, after the wedding. So I need to resettle some things and uh, make sure everything is packaged well. And then I um, also need to eat. And then we'll be slowly getting ready to head to the airport. I'm excited to have Chick-fil-A again. <laughs> and um, just happy to see my parents today. So that was good. When I called it my house, I was like, I'm going back to my house. My mother-in-law was like, hey. Yeah, she was, I was like, I mean, sorry, going back to, whoa. She was, she was like, um, she, she was like, if I squeeze you. <laughs> I mean, like, dang, I know it's like, I know, like, you paid the bride price, but it still feels like it's my house. But anyway, getting things to get used to. But, um, yeah, alrighty, I'm just here in my room. Uh, I think there's a few things in here, and then... There's stuff around the other side in my parents' room, so I'm gonna get all that together now. It's always bittersweet when we're leaving. Obviously bitter because we're leaving and everybody's gonna miss us and we're only here for a short time. But sweet because when we leave, bro, everything that we don't touch, any food, drink, anything that's left over, we dash it out to everybody, all of our family, everybody comes to get their, their own portion. We have leftover rice, leftover um, like fufu, leftover like soup, jollof, like all the stuff that like we didn't eat, especially because me and my sister brother left already. I wasn't here, it's just been my parents, so it's a little, some leftover food, so been able to divide and dash out to everybody. So that's one of the good things that I appreciate, you know, with coming to Nigeria, because we're able to provide a lot for the people around us, the small kids and things like that. So yeah, we fed everybody this morning, dashing out everything. Um, and it's just basically right now working on emptying out the kitchen. Emptying out the kitchen so that um, we can start, my mom and I can start settling our own bags. from Lagos just finished printing out my mom and I's COVID test results um, negative and we are prepared to fly out tonight we're gonna go to the market like I said before um, first because I need to get bulk lace for Ashe B material for my wedding in June um, for my Ashe B girls so we're gonna head back home and get my mom I just came with my cousin to print this stuff out and then I'm gonna we're gonna get my mom and go to the market later. Mm -hmm. 